Hi, my name is Jim Powers. I'm the local editor for Lake Forest Lake Bluff Patch. Our site launched in October 2010, as Joanna mentioned to you. And uh, just to give you a little bit of background about the company itself, um, first of all, this is not a franchise. That's one of the questions I often get asked if I actually own the site, and I don't. Uh, the company is actually based in New York. Our parent company is America Online. That's who owns us. And so, um, but the unique part about this job, obviously, is that um, all the employees that we have, with the exception of the people that work in New York, are remote. In other words, we all work from home. Um, and as David alluded to, um, most of my newspaper career has been in an office. Um, so to work from home was, for those of you who do it, um, it took a couple months to get used to actually walking to, into another bedroom and calling that my office. Um, and actually trying to you know, focus on what I was supposed to be doing versus watching TV or <laughs> being distracted by my dog or you know, some other things. But uh, now that I've been doing it for a while, I love it. It's been a good move for me. Um, this has been a great opportunity for me to obviously stay in the media business. Um, Patch uh, launched over 850 sites in, in 2010. Um, we have about 80 in the Chicago area. We're up and down the North Shore. We go as far north as Barrington, as far south as, say, Plainfield. And then we're in McHenry County, Kane County, um, DuPage. So we're, we're, we're in several different places. And one of the things that they looked at when they were picking uh, places to, to put sites in were communities that had a viable downtown, a real like gathering place, which Lake Forest and Lake Bluff obviously do. They're built around Market Square, or the Village Green, the gazebo. And uh, so perfect you know, type of communities for these, this type of uh, venture. Um, so our product itself, um, I, one of the things I love about it is that it's um, real easy to navigate our site. And I thought the two things I would mention uh, today, particularly for those of you who have your own business or, uh, or, or part of an organization, whether it's uh, community-based or something um, county-wide or, or even maybe even national, um, is we have uh, two ways uh, for you to communicate what your group is doing. We always have an events calendar that you can post events that you, your group is doing. Uh, it's a great complement to what, like Joanna mentioned, that their site does, that other sites do as well. Um, it's just another gathering place for people to potentially look at uh, what's going on in your, in your organization, what you're doing that day. The other thing that, that I can do um, with your particular event is that we have an electronic newsletter that goes out every day, Monday through Sunday, and I can feature uh, an upcoming event in the newsletter so that the people who subscribe to our newsletter see that when they open up their email. So it's another way of getting uh, your event in front of an audience. The other thing I definitely encourage you to do um, that our site is very open to is to submit information about your organization or your business, such as promotions. If you're doing something in the community, um, like if your uh, organization is doing something like for Habitat for Humanity or just something outside of the box that doesn't necessarily involve the workplace, but you still want to promote that your company is doing something like this. Or any other type of announcements, even as parents or, you know, if you've got a, a child or something that won an award, graduated from college. I mean, we have, there's an announcement category in our site that allows you to post information like that that goes right on the site the moment you submit it. Um, and then I also have the capability of also featuring that type of information on the main homepage as well. Um, so we're absolutely open to that type of contribution um, to our site. We definitely encourage you to take advantage of that. And I will tell you that in the next couple months, one of the upgrades that's coming to our site is to make it even more user friendly in terms of being able to submit information um, online uh, to us. So that's a good thing. Um, it's still pretty easy right now to be able to post it, but they're gonna make it even easier, which is, which is great. Definitely makes our job a little bit easier. Uh, the second method I definitely would encourage you to, to take advantage of, one of the things I'm actually pushing a lot in organizations right now, is to take advantage of it. this local voices column that we have. These are this is our blog aspect of our website. Um, and I think it's, a, you know, personally I think it's a great opportunity. If you're in a bit, you have a business or you have an organization, this is a great platform for you to complement what you're already doing. Many of you probably already have a website for your business, for your organization. This is another way of complementing what you're already doing. And rather than make it seem like it's like one more thing that you have to do, that you have to put on your list of things to do, the great thing about our system, I think, is that 
you can basically repurpose the, the information that you already have on your site. So say you're doing a running blog already, or you're, um, you have you know, stuff you, you naturally post to your site that talk about either what your organization is doing, um, profiling a certain aspect of your business, or what your organization does. Um, you can create a, you can start a blog on Patch. It's, re it's really easy. They've actually uh, you know, made it where it's like two clicks and you're up. And um, it's, I think it's a, it's a great platform. It gets you in front of an audience that you normally would not reach, which is the people who look at, my, at the site. And um, it's a pretty, uh, it's, it's a type of content that I look at. I don't edit it really that toughly. I look at it mostly for make sure the content makes sense, that it doesn't like, you know, libel anybody, say something bad, and, and basically then it goes up. And um, so it's a, I really, you know, I think it's a great compliment to something you maybe you're already doing. It gets, you, it gets your message out there, and it also creates, especially if you're in a business, I think it creates an opportunity for you to show your expertise to the audience and to talk about, say, if you're in the security business, um, say, here's five tips on how to make your home more secure. Um, and I can tell you I have a, a wide range of, of people who, who blog on the site. I have a woman from Lake Forest who is 80 years old who blogs on my site. She also has a Facebook account and tweets. <laughs> Um, to people who have their own businesses, I have like a health coach, um, real estate people, um, and you name it. And I think it's, it's a really good platform for you to show your expertise in your building, not necessarily turn it into like a running commercial because that, I would definitely discourage you from that, but it allows you to show your expertise in your particular field. And, to, and that way the audience might be more prone to, to potentially go to your business because they're reading about how you know about this particular subject. And so I think it, it works both ways for you. And again, it's a great compliment to what you're already doing online. Anyways, yes? How often are they posting? Um, actually, every day. I get, um, I get daily, I get submissions every day. Um, and then I usually post up to three every day. Um, and I, and, it, and it, I could potentially post more. But I try, one of the things I think that's great about local voices is that Compared to a normal story that's on the site, there's less turnover. So there's the potential for you to stay on the home page a little bit longer is greater with a blog than it is with a regular story. Because we have, like David mentioned, with this type of medium, you're constantly updating the content. You know, we have fresh content every single day. So the story turnover tends to be a little bit faster than it would be for a blog. Yes? What does it take to get you to send your story out in your daily email. Is there a particular um, method that we should use to ask you to do that, or is it just by submitting it you'll decide what you're going to put out in the email? Uh, I would say both. It, wouldn't, it definitely doesn't hurt to, to send me a note and say, hey, you know, I submitted this. Would you consider featuring in a newsletter or featuring on the home page? Um, I think that's a good thing to do. Um, it's just a good reminder for me. To, to kind of keep that in the back of my mind when I'm looking at that possibility. Just a, a general, um, the reality is that we're doing really well. This has been a really good year for us, and uh, I see a really good future for this medium. Um, obviously, Adrian is a pioneer in, in respect in terms of me following um, in this area, but uh, uh, I really think you know, this is the future of where we're, kind of where we're going. It, and, and I'm a print guy, and I love print. Um, but, and I think there's still a good compliment there, um, but the reality is with our phones now and with the, our, our computers, we, we have so much more access to information than we ever did before. So, all right, I'll be looking forward to your questions. Thanks very much.